Now we have our migration, it is time to create the model in factory. Remember to commit your code from the previous video before starting this one. I have already committed my changes. You can create the model manually, but I'm going to use Artisan to do it for me. Open up the terminal and type PHP Artisan make model post. So good, Artisan would have created our model successfully. You can find that in app and then post. So this is our model and that's all we need for now. Next, I'm going to create the factory and I'm going to use Artisan to do that for me again. So PHP Artisan make factory post factory dash M post. Now that's the name of our model and you can see it's created it successfully for us. Now think of factories as a convenient way to input multiple records of data in your table on the fly. We can call factories when seeding data into our database or in our tests. It's really useful. These database factories will be located here. You can see this is our post factory and you can see it already has post class. So that's our post model in there. And that's what we pass the model with the dash M flag. Now in that return array, what we want to do is use our structure from our database here as a reference and start putting dummy data, effectively dummy data. And what we're going to do using this dummy data is generate records for our database. Now we can use something called Faker. So Faker is a object or PHP helper that will help us generate random words, random sentences, names, etc. So we're going to use sentence for title and we're going to go to the next field, which is content. And we know that's our text field. We're going to use faker and then we are going to use paragraphs. We can actually say how many paragraphs we want. We want four and we want it to return as text. So as text true. So the next field, primary image, spell that right. Okay, so we don't necessarily have to use Faker for, for images. We can just reference a path such as, it doesn't have to be a real path, but we can use images, primary-image.jpg. I think that's fine. For thumbnail or thumbnail image, we can then use a fake path again. We can say images, thumb.jpg. Next is our slug. We're going to use faker for the slug. I know we should really have dashes or something like that, like a URL friendly sentence in there. But for now, for the purposes of what we're going to do, I think sentence is just fine for now. And then after slug, we have author, which should be our last field. And we have faker and we can use name. Okay, so that's our factory. Now, we're not going to use this straight away, but however, we will be using it in our tests. So get used to the concept of factories. If you don't really understand what they are yet, just read up on it on, in the Laravel documentation. So now let's commit our code. Make sure we add the post, the model and the factory. Update our commit message. Add post, model and factory and click commit. And that's it, we have our model and factory.